Hey everybody, it's Party Lead. Welcome back to another episode of our Planet Zoo franchise mode. Let's play. We're gonna dive right back into Elite Zoo South. There is a lot I want to accomplish today, so we're not gonna waste too much time with a prolonged introduction or anything like that. We're gonna be diving more or less right into a time lapse, more or less right off the bat. Just want to mention really quickly, because uh, I've seen a lot of questions asked about it, and I want to make sure I, uh, I you know, quell all the concerns as quickly as possible, the aquatic DLC animals will absolutely be featured in our franchise mode. Let's play. We will definitely be seeing the relevant ones added to Elitsu South. There are a couple that make sense at Elitsu North, so we will be going back to Elitsu North sometime in the relatively near future uh, to go ahead and uh, and implement those animals. Uh, hopefully it's uh, not as laggy as it once was before, but uh, but I'm looking forward to getting those animals in there. I'm looking very forward to exploring all of the options and opportunities with the new DLC in both of these franchise zoos that we have right now. So for those of you who are worried uh, that they won't be included or we won't find room or time for them, fear not. They're absolutely coming. Uh, for those of you who uh, are not aware, because maybe YouTube didn't send you a new notification or maybe you're not subscribed, in which case you should subscribe. And hit the notification bell, I suppose. Uh, but uh, I'm also doing a bit of a sort of mini series on the side, which is focused entirely on the aquatic DLC. I thought that would be the best way to show those new animals and guarantee their representation on the channel uh, without having to, uh, you know, get, uh, quote unquote, get in the way of our process or approach at Elitsu South. Um, I've tried showcasing the DLC in a few different ways now, the various DLCs in a few different ways. For South America, we had a whole one, like, massive episode that took me six hours of recording, uh, which, as you can imagine, is uh, exhausting in some ways. So I, I, for Australia, opted for this integration method. But, you know, as some of you have pointed out, we haven't... <laughs> it's been quite some time and we don't have all of the Australian animals in yet. So for the aquatic DLC, I thought I would try something a little different. And that is this sandbox side series uh, where we're going to be uh, over the course of multiple episodes uh, adding the various animals and exploring all the mechanics and systems. The first episode has already released. The second episode of that will be releasing later on today. Um, and the third episode and the fourth and fifth episodes will be coming out over the next handful of days as well. Anyway, uh, I said I wasn't going to have a prolonged introduction. I said we were going to dive into a time lapse more or less right away. I got a lot of requests and recommendations and suggests, suggestions for our year 100 celebration. Um, we're going to get into that as soon as I am done doing uh, one thing one thing and then we'll and then we'll and then we'll dive into our time lapse and then there's some other management elements that I want to take care of as well but the um this this ride over here station 103 I assume is this one's name I mean the only way to test is nope that's not it but it, I guess it's station 102 is this one yeah all right cool station 102 is going to be renamed Giraffe. Thank you very much for that suggestion. Again, we have a couple of stores and all that need naming as well, and I do have some names picked out for the gorilla enclosure, for the um, uh, for the lemur enclosure, and I've got one picked out for this enclosure as well that we will be implementing in a beauty pass, uh, which I think is going to be the crux of our episode after this one. So, although I guess today's episode is a kind of a beauty, it's it's kind of a beauty pass, but it. It's a hard one to describe because there's so much stuff to explore from the uh, new DLC and stuff. Uh, but beyond that as well, fear not. I also have a name suggestion picked out for our beautiful little buddies over here. And they will be getting some love and attention very soon as well as we develop this space out. I'm going to be implementing uh, this entire region over here. And I might actually keep these guys in their own isolated enclosure. Um, and that way we're able to implement the name suggestion that I have and we'll uh, we'll have uh, we'll have a, a solo enclosure over here because we have a mixed enclosure over here. Anyway, I said I was just going to do that one thing before we dove into our time lapse. I'm going to stick to my word there, uh, and we're going to dive right on into the time lapse. Just kind of looking at my checklist over here, making sure making sure we get to dive in. I think we get to dive in, folks. It's time lapse time. All right, folks. I am really excited for this time lapse because we uh, are spending a fair bit of time in a space that hasn't seen a lot of attention in a very long time and has been waiting for some extra 
love and, and well, attention for a very long time. The good thing about our timing here is that, of course, the new DLC comes with a bunch of features and elements and possibilities that apply to the saltwater crocodile as well. So the first thing we did actually with this time lapse was establish the underwater feeder. Very excited to see how the crocodiles interact with that feeder. Uh, you know, they're supposed to. It is one of the animals that it applies to. So I'm very curious to see exactly how that uh, behavior um, plays out, like in terms of animation and stuff like that as well, uh, but also in terms of what the animals actually prioritize. Uh, do they prefer the underwater feeding? Do they prefer being fed on a, you know, metal plate? Do they prefer their existing enrichment items? Very curious to see. Uh, it should be it should be fun to just unlock a whole new set of behaviors. And we do a fair bit of exploring with regards to those new sets of behaviors as the, uh, the crocs are able to dive underwater as well now properly. Uh, now, you'll have noticed that we're making some modifications to the path over here. The first thing I want to touch on is that it is absolutely wild to be back at this spot specifically to build something new. Because as some of you will remember, this was more or less the first area where we were building something for a beauty pass and it drove us near bankrupt. It was extremely expensive, we had barely any money, and we were almost broke as a result of our project over here. Um, and now we're back here. Felt like the perfect spot for the memorial. Many of you suggested as well that it would be a good spot for it because it's pretty central. You know, you can kind of see it right as you enter. It's got uh, it's got a fairly sort of monumental location, so to speak. Uh, the other options were, you know, a little too close to Africa or they were a little too disconnected from the uh, central nature of, of this area. Uh, and, and I agree with a lot of the, you know, the comments that came through with regards to that. So again, thank you very much for your feedback and for getting your input in there. Uh, and I, you know, it kind of, you touched on a lot of things that I was feeling deep down inside as well. So very glad to, again, have that to kind of, you know, soundboard basically. Now, uh, it was a challenge to build this, uh, structure here. It's sort of trying to stay in theme with what we did at Elite Zoo North as well. There, of course, our quote unquote topper was the, uh, it was the, the, the timber wolf. It was the first animal that we got at the zoo. Um... And it was a, we made a rock sculpture. Again, those of you that didn't watch Elite Zoo North and Season 1, then you know now you know what we did there for the memorial. And I wanted to maintain a theme. It's, it's nice to have certain consistencies. Um, it becomes a system that we can follow, you know, moving forward, as, as is the case here. Uh, so I wanted to maintain uh, a connection there with Elite Zoo North. And so I was like, all right, cool, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to have a, a rock sculpture of the first animal that we got here, because, of course, there's a bit of significance there to the first animal and the rock sculptures rock it's there's like a lot of layers of 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 interesting when it comes to you know um in my opinion at least something that is as sturdy or potentially as weak as a rock um you know time erodes all literally speaking i suppose uh but anyway that, that aside working at this scale was very difficult because there aren't a lot of pieces that look like a crocodile as you can imagine so i've like really struggling with with moving these parts appropriately and obviously going for a bit of an abstraction here we're not going to get uh super fine details especially at this scale but i am actually really quite proud of how this ends up um i wanted it to have a dynamic shape see the thing is here we don't have any of the other toys to play with there is no crocodile um uh like decorative element there's only alligators for some reason i don't get it but i had only my own sort of, uh, you know, I, like, I only had the pieces to work with. It was just, uh, there, there was no, like, preset or prefab elements that I could use. Um, so, uh, pretty happy with how it's turned out. And uh, I, I had to make it special, so I wanted to make it a bit more dynamic, so I gave it this, like, kind of curved shape. I also wanted to have a connection to, you know, some kind of, uh, like, story or storytelling device or, or, or idea or what have you. And uh, much like Adelitsu North, where the theme was how, uh, you know, our key animal there's sort of stages in life were represented on the memorial. Over here, we have our key animal representing the, you know, circle of life. Uh, I talked a little bit about this after the time lapse as well, so I'll leave it to, you know, future past party elite to touch on that. But um, I felt like the shape was very interesting. I felt like the, uh, 
Honestly, I'm really, even looking back at it now, I'm really pleased with how the rock sculptures look. Obviously, it's a little, you know, low detail and whatnot. It's not sculpted like clay or anything, but that's part of the charm, in my opinion, at least. And I hope you all like it as well. I'm really, really quite happy with how that looks, looking at it from the top down, especially. Um, but yeah, so not only do we have this, like, theme of this, uh, you know, eating its own tail, the circle, the circle of life, the sense of infinity, etc., etc., but also there's touching on the... Uh, the whole idea of, you know, the, rather, sorry, the, the prevalence of circles and concentric circles in indigenous Australian art. Now, obviously, it's not an exact one-to-one -one interpretation. It's obviously been uh, sort of uh, modified to fit the needs of our space here and to uh, sort of marry the quote-unquote, you know, old with the new. Not really the right phrase because it's not like it's old and new. It's more like the uh, the... I don't even know how to phrase it, but hopefully you understand what I'm getting at. It's just trying to get inspired and use that inspiration to build something new out of it uh, that still ties back to its inspiration, something I've been trying to do more and more of throughout the uh, the zoo. By the way, the little circles that are forming the little rings around the uh, the uh, the the croc eating croc, those are the letter O from one of the new fonts that has been uh, made available to us from Noto. Noto? 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 Not sure. But... Uh, it's fun because uh, it's it's a fairly geometric um, typeface, so you can use it to build shapes like this. I thought it was pretty convenient, uh, and I, I quite like it just because it ties in some of the new stuff from the new update and stuff as well. But, uh, but yeah, trying to find the right kind of size for this thing, it, it, it's definitely massive. Maybe a little bit bigger than I'd anticipated at first, but I was limited by my pieces. Uh, sure, I could have it, made it like less interesting. Ooh, okay, let's phrase that differently. I could have made it more boring, but what's the fun in that, right? Uh, so yeah, it's a little bit large. Guests have to kind of like snake around it and stuff, but you know what? They're fine. They'll be okay. They'll deal. Uh, I also wanted to get a little bit of water going on in here. Unfortunately, the barriers... This would be nice to see done a little differently, but barriers will snap, as far as I've seen, to the ground. Now, if some of you know how to actually make it snap to different levels instead, please let me know. But unfortunately, it snaps either to the ground or to the water level. And so I wasn't able to put down a barrier and uh, and put water into the, uh, the the monument. But not to be you know, dissuaded or deterred by that, I decided to get that ripple effect that we have going on by the uh, koalas. Uh, I decided to get that same ripple effect going on. So it looks like this space is full of water. Again, I wanted to touch on the animals sort of habitat. You'll see all the, uh, the, the plants and stuff I put down as well. They're all... Oceania um, plants, so it's all relevant. Now this is, as always, you know, where I struggle a little bit. You can see my palette at the bottom there. Not very varied. And so, I don't know, I was... I, I try to use as many of the parts and as many of the pieces that I have available to me. Um, hopefully you all like it. I'm actually quite pleased with how it ends up looking uh, with this, like, vibrant, bright spot of color. Uh, in the middle of all these like sort of earthen, er, earthen tones and whatnot. So personally, I'm pretty pleased with how it ends up. But you can see as I was like working on uh, working on that uh, memorial, I was like, oh, right, there's these subaquatic sub um, uh, like plants and stuff we can use as well. Why don't I you know, get that down a little bit? So that was just a little minor distraction over there uh, as, I'm, as, I, as, as is prone to happen. Uh, adjusting the height and stuff as well, making sure that people are actually able to see it, making some minor tweaks to make sure the form of the uh, of the crocs feels a bit more right. Man, I'm you know what? Yeah, I feel like I feel that's that's pretty that's pretty cool. That's pretty dope. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, pretty pleased. And again, just funny to be back here in the same spot where you know how many hours ago now? Rather, how many months ago now did we start season one? Uh, season two. Uh, this spot made us made us <laughs> nearly bankrupt, and here we are just embellishing it needlessly, some might say. Uh, but definitely glad that we did the memorial. I know uh, there were some comments that were you know, just like expressing disinterest in the memorial. I totally understand, uh, and I try to weigh everyone's you know wants and desires and needs, obviously, because lots of folks have been asking for the memorial for a very long time, and I totally am on board with you know both sides of the coin. I totally understand both sides of the coin. Um, but uh, but I definitely wanted to I definitely wanted to to, to 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 get the memorial in there for a while I was hesitant I'll be honest for a while I was like do we really need to um, but then 
you know, then the year 100 came around and I was like, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. It's one session. We get the memorial in there. We get to celebrate, um, you know, life itself, I suppose, uh, and all the parts to it. So why not? But with that set aside, I was like, I right, let's try and get some other work done. Now, many of you suggested in the comments as well that why not for year 100, we finally finish the entrance area. And that's, you know, that's a genius thought. <laughs> uh, so I was like, all right, let's try and get some work done on some of these, you know, waterfall spaces as well. Uh, we do not, as you can imagine, complete the entirety. We don't complete both halves, but we make a lot of progress. And I'm really quite pleased with the end result um, that we even get this to, just how far along it comes uh, and how different it looks at the end of this time lapse compared to, you know, for the last, what, 40, maybe even 45 sessions? This has just kind of been like, actually, it might be the full 50. Uh, what is it now? 50, 55, 56, 50 something. 50. Anyway, it, it's looked the same for a very long time, but between then and now, there has been so much um, opportunity for me to like learn and explore and discover other options and um, learn how I might want to approach this a little differently. And I'm applying all that. And I'm really quite happy to see like this is this is looking like something that it would not have looked like had I just rushed this to its finish, you know, all those sessions ago. Obviously, it might still have looked good, uh, but this time, or rather because of this kind of delay, I suppose, I've been able to think back upon the other waterfall areas that I've worked on, think upon all the, uh, you know, um, lessons I've taken to heart with regards to my, uh, you know, relatively not so great landscaping skills, and I've been able to kind of integrate all that. I don't know, I, I was, I'm quite pleased with how this space looks, and I'm, I'm, uh, I can guarantee you that it would not have looked uh, as interesting, as compelling, or as, uh, you know, vibrant or, or, or colorful or what have you, uh, had I done this, you know, many, many, many sessions ago. But, uh, yeah, just getting the rocks in here, giving this place a bit more of a solid look, uh, giving it a, uh, you know, sort of more solid foundation so it doesn't just look like soil and dirt and mud. The rock texture just wasn't doing it for me. And also, of course, a little bit of vegetation here and there really brings a pop of color from time to time, stuff that we learned while bringing the uh, area or building the area around our Aldabra uh, tortoises, obviously. Uh, so yeah, just applying all those lessons and, 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 and excited actually to push this further uh, in the upcoming time lapses. I, I definitely want to do, I think it's time for us to sit down and do a couple of beauty and completion passes in the upcoming episodes because, as again, many of you pointed out in the comments, I've been, I've been moving very quickly, adding more animals very quickly that we're starting to uh, leave areas incomplete for far too long. So I think we're going to spend some time doing some beauty passes. But let me know what y'all think. Let me know what y'all want to see. Let me know uh, what y'all think about the memorial and the space over here. As always, I'm looking for your feedback. I'm looking for your thoughts, your ideas, your opinions. Uh, share them down below. All right, folks, we are back from the time lapse, and I am quite pleased with everything we accomplished during said time lapse. Honestly, I was going in with an idea that I did not know uh, that I'd be able to execute. I had no idea if it was going to work out, but uh, I am I am actually really quite pleased with uh, with how our little memorial here has uh, turned out. Um, it's always a challenge working with, uh, you know, rock pieces to try and get some sort of animal out of it. And um, I wanted to do something interesting. Now, those of you that watched Elitsu North and watched the uh, cr crunch struction, sorry, the construction of our... Uh, of our uh, uh, of our memorial there, we'll kind of know the story that I went with and, and the whole, uh, uh, there was a level of depth to it. It wasn't just like, oh yeah, let's throw one of these like pre-built, um, uh, pre-built, you know, constructions down and just uh, say, yeah, cool, that's the memorial. It was actually, I was, I, I like putting a lot of thought into this kind of stuff. Hopefully it comes across. But uh, but yeah, so I wanted to obviously get the, uh, the, the memorials in here. I wanted to use the crocodile. Um, and, and clearly we needed a memor memorial because many of you are forgetting uh, about some of our uh, important, you know, crocodiles in the past. So I thought that was I thought that was pretty funny it, it, with regards to the uh, comments that were coming through. Uh, but um, beyond that as well, sorry, I'm like, <laughs> my mind is going a million miles a minute right now because there's so much to talk about and so much to do. Um, but yeah, beyond just having, you know, picking an animal and trying to build it uh, out of little rock pieces, there's also the challenge of trying to, you know, tell a story 
Uh, and with uh, with the memorial at Litsu North, we of course had the benefit of working with the uh, the wolf, you know, sculptures and whatnot that we had a lot of fun with. But over here, when I mean, when you search crocodile, you get the uh, crocus uh, flower. So you know that's obviously not right. There's there's alligators, but that's also obviously not right. So I had to go completely, you know, without any assistance. And I thought it'd be nice to kind of get this going on, uh, sort of playing with the idea of like you know, um. The, the circle of life, a sense of infinity, getting inspiration from, I'm going to butcher the pronunciation here, but uh, Ouroboros? Uh, Ouroboros? 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 Ouroboros. Ouroboros. Anyway, the uh, the snake that's like, you know, eating its own tail, uh, getting a little bit of inspiration from that, and, and, and just playing on the ideas of uh, the the infinite, you know, the hopefully infinite circle of life and, and, uh, and how that pertains to, um, you know, the impact Sort of every animal has in uh, in at rather an elite zoo or at specifically in this case elite zoo south uh, where they 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 arrive they uh, one way or another they arrive they grow they um, ensure that the species lives on in the zoo and then they depart and then that cycle you know repeats itself uh, over and over um, ideally to infinity and beyond but yeah I'm uh, I'm really quite pleased with this. Um, the space is, I mean, it's, it's definitely larger than maybe I'd initially anticipated, but again, working with those rock pieces kind of set my minimum size there. Uh, I also, oh, okay, I'm sure the rest of this I, I've touched on during the, uh, the, 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 the time lapse. So I apologize if I was just repeating myself there, but I was just really excited to share. And obviously I have to wait until after recording to record the audio for the time lapse. So I just, sorry, I, I apologize. But, but beyond that, we also got some work done over here, you know, using some of my, uh, uh, lessons learned over the course of making, you know, the uh, the uh, waterfalls across the zoo, using some of those lessons and applying them back to our uh, entrance area over here at Croc Rock and trying to bring this space to life. Obviously didn't have enough time, the, the time lapse was a little bit longer than my usual, but didn't have enough time to finish this entire space off. Uh, but it is something we are sort of gaining momentum on. I've started to get a sense of how I want these things to look. We also have these underwater uh, elements to use now these underwater um, subaquatic plants as they're classified so that's great because that really brings life to these areas so uh, i'm thinking actually maybe maybe y'all let me know what you think but maybe next session we kind of work on on finishing this off uh we might be able to finish this off and get to work up over here as well but uh maybe want to finally finally get this done with uh, after such a long time anyway after such a long time let's go ahead and hit play uh we're going to be doing uh, a fair bit of management stuff, uh, quite a bit of it is going to touch on some of the new options and possibilities with uh, the new DLC, or rather the new update, as well as the new DLC. I am of course talking about watching our uh, rocks over here, uh, enjoy the underwater feeder that we have kind of nestled away in here. Hopefully, hopefully this will function okay. Uh, I, I, t I, well, I didn't test it, but I checked it earlier and it looked like uh, it will work fine. Um, and beyond that, I might want to actually, you know, I might want to, hmm. I was thinking about this earlier. It's like, how much more do I want to get in here? Like, cause we can put some more plants. I just realized the, uh, the height difference over here that we can still kind of take advantage of Do this kind of a thing, add a bit more depth to the area, basically. Cause what this does is it makes sure that when you're looking in from, uh, from over here, there's like stuff right away. Anyway, my hope is that this underwater feeder will see some action, we'll see the crocs come down, and hopefully we'll see uh, the guests actually able to watch the feeding happening down over here. It was pointed out in the comments that we can do this, and that's absolutely one of the first things my mind went to when the underwater feeding was uh, was like sort of revealed and mentioned and, and explored as well. Um, so, I mean, I'm really hoping to see some action over there. Hopefully we'll catch some of it this session. Uh, a lot of these animals, for some reason, are just stuck in over here. Um, and you saw at the beginning of the time lapse, I did have to hit play at first. Multiple animals have low welfare. That's probably the Titan beetle. Yeah, no surprise there. Go ahead and clean this up really quickly. Um, but yeah, apart from just that... Ooh, what's going on here? Why can I not send you... Things have changed. Okay, let's see. Exhibit trading. Am I... Are we full up over here? That's probably why. That is probably why. Utility. 
on both of these guys is good, Catalina and Raphael. So you know what, let's select all. Keep these two around. Everybody else we can keep a couple of these around. I just want to make sure I have options for high quality uh, breeding when the inevitable happens on the topic of the circle of life. Keep you as well. Getting the name Kadek. Alright, cool. Go ahead and quick trade all of you. Confirm that. Please and thank you. And you know what? Let's go ahead and get all of you into the trade center. And where did... Oh god, there's so many of them. Where did Catalina and Raphael send you to here? And of course, like a fool, I emptied this place out without realizing the consequences. Primarily reassigning all this education. There we go. And there we go. All right, good stuff. That should be back up and running in no time. Anyway, uh, so the uh, the underwater feeding is not the only thing that I want to concern myself with, though that is something I want to definitely want to keep an eye on. Like you'll this session, I will be spending a fair bit of time sort of checking up on this over and over again because I definitely want to see. I definitely want to catch him in action. You know, I definitely want to catch him in action. And up over here, we just had a lion mature. I assume that's going to cause us some trouble over here. Where'd you go, buddy? Infertile Abayomi over here. That's too bad. Defu. Well, look at these guys just lying down over here. Animal welfare has attracted protesters. Alright, we'll take a look at that in just a moment. Abayomi. We can keep you around for now, buddy. Where is Sefu? Sefu is there. Oh, well, he's an adult, but he's also not an adult. Doesn't look like an adult, but he's... Fertile either. Oh, there we go. Boom. <laughs> There's that adulthood. Man, puberty comes at you fast, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and release you to the wild. I think is the best call. Not fertile, unfortunately, but... So, you know, unlikely to get any conservation credits from a sale, but we could definitely at least release Sefu to the wild. Recently adulted. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. I, I would feel bad if someone picks Sefu up. Now, he's not infertile to the point where he cannot have any babies, but the likelihood is very low, right? I, again, there's a different... It's a whole different ball game when someone is completely infertile. So let's go ahead and release you. There we go. And yes, we'll we'll get a different male in shortly as well. Um... But shortly. I'm not in a rush for that right now. There's some other stuff I want to keep my eyes on as well. Offspring do. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Actually worked out. Now, I mean, she's got to she's got to make it until August. Two years from now. She's pretty old. But uh, I would love to see it. I would love to see it. We also have to do some research on the giraffe, as many of you have rightfully pointed out. We will absolutely be doing that. The, um... The, the holdup is, uh, the holdup is I want to finish the gorilla research first, uh, because we have been, uh, making our, what we've been like, where'd you go? You dead already? Where, where are you? Can't use the, uh, the camera here. Oh, there, there we go. Oh, there she is. Oh, no. Well, that's a sad sight. Call the vet. I need to get some more monkeys in here as well. We are, we're not seeing reproduction happening over there. Has been in box for too long. Whoa, there's so much going on. Unbox all animals over here. I feel like the update has definitely changed how some things uh, will have been working. And so I wouldn't be surprised if some things will need revisiting from, from time to time. Animal welfare over here has attracted protesters. Not enough space. Oh, okay. Let's, let's go ahead and um, move you in. Move you in. Let's go. Alright. That should solve the problem there. What's the deal over here? Any luck yet? Went way too deep in there. Uh, this is not launching any fish yet. I wonder why. Could have already seen some. Maybe I'm actually blocking it with the uh, rocks and stuff here. Keeper is ready. Let's call the keeper to the habitat. Maybe they'll maybe needs like filling or something. Peter is still ready, yeah. Okay. Now, sorry, the underwater feeder is the only is not the only new thing that uh, I wanted to play with. I want to get an animal talk in as well. Now, originally I was gonna put the animal talk up over here, but based on what many of you said, this is something that bothers me about uh 
I'm gonna have to find a way. I mean, I could redo this path entirely. I'm gonna have to find a way to stop these guys from getting in here. They're able to clip through everything, aren't they? I could put a barrier down, I suppose. Like a glass barrier or something. I didn't want to just put this flat on ground level, but maybe I should have. We'll have to figure something out, like a chain link fence even. Something to hold people back, because they will clip through uh, geometry. Uh, but yeah, so I was initially going to put the uh, the animal talk over here, uh, but many of you pointed out that uh, having the memorial up over here is a little disconnected, it's a little too far, a little too close to the Africa section, uh, and I wholeheartedly agree, which is why I went ahead with this. Um, but what that means is we're going to put our animal talk instead down over here. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that will work well for us. Let's go ahead and get uh, facilities. I'm going to go ahead and get animal talk point. Pop you down right over here. Right? Get you in there. Sign. Scenery rating is 58% only. Really? Misassigned species. Oh, interesting. Not close enough. Food throw path is blocked. Okay, I think what we'll need to do then is... Uh, the other the other thing I was thinking was it'd be cool to have uh, have the animal talk happen up over here. I thought that would be pretty neat as well. Maybe we, maybe we do that. Maybe we stick with that. There we go. Can throw food. No educator assigned. That's fine. Scene rating is 42%. Why so low? These areas aren't ugly. You know? Like, I got I got trees and stuff. 72%. Just a little bit closer to the trees and it pops up to 72%. Okay. Let's pop it here for now. Um, time of the month. Uh, I'm thinking... I'm thinking... Let's go with May. Is a good time. Uh, let's play some good old fashioned classical music, I suppose. Actually, we've got Australian playlist over here. Let's play the Australia playlist over here when there's no uh, uh, teaching going on. And let's go ahead and hire our first ever educator. So excited. So excited. Let's get you in here. And just because you're a new type of hire doesn't mean our exempt from uh, market rates and all that. Um, now let's see. Guess I need to, right, I guess I do need to assign a work zone. We're going to go ahead and say center for you. I mean, this is center, even though it's Australia, I suppose. No educator assigned. Manage talks. How do I, how do, hmm. See, I was doing this in the in the sandbox zoo where I was experimenting with a new um, with new features and stuff, but I wasn't using work zones for that. Let's see, staff, educator, um, data work zone, no work zone. I could just say no work zone, and so they kind of like roam around and work wherever they're needed. I think that makes most sense. Maybe kind of roam around. I think what was happening is that I hadn't assigned this to the work zone, which is why it wasn't connecting the two dots. Uh, but if we go ahead and say work zone center, all right, assign you. I'll probably be doing animal talks at, at quite a few spots. In real life, I'm a huge fan of animal talks, so I'll probably be doing that a fair bit. Uh, let's go ahead and set you back to center, and now let's check over here. Yeah, looks like that was the uh, the case. I also want to check the lighting over here since it is nighttime. I'm fortunate enough to be able to check the lighting over here. Yeah, not too overdone, a little dramatic, which I like. Uh, and you'll notice also the um, the VFX we've got going on over here to give that rippling water effect. Um, I feel like that's come across pretty nicely over here. I wanted it to be, again, I wanted it to look like it was uh, water. So, you know, even more so a reason for wanting people to not be walking through the space. Uh, but I do like visually how this is looking. Pretty happy with this. All right, good stuff. I wonder also if I want to light up the... Um, ground here. Right, whoops, not you. Alright. If I grab... Come on now. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. You know I want to pick you. Alright, fine. Be that way. Go ahead and get the, uh... Get the, uh... Lighting. Floor lighting. There we go. Up you down over there. Yeah, that looks... Looks a good idea, I think. Ooh, 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 our giraffe is about to mate. Rubbing necks, good stuff, good stuff. Rubbing necks, licking cheeks. Alright, okay. Sounds good. 
people over here lining up as well. That's good to see. It's good to see this is getting some uh, some use. We do have two boats, but why are we moving so slowly? Oh, you know what? I'm gonna have to adjust the. Uh, uh, ooh, offspring expected. Good. Um, I'm gonna have to adjust. You know how long things wait and whatnot. Uh, timings, all that jazz. Put you down over here. Next one down, up over here. Rotate you, please. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and light it up from uh, from the other two sides as well. Like, so that not exactly centered. I have to adjust that a bit. Come on now. We definitely need to do a lighting pass. I've seen many of you request that as well. Don't worry, that is top of mind for me. I, I love doing, uh, I love working on lighting, so we definitely have to do a lighting pass sometime soon. Um, like even just like the littlest, yeah, just it makes such a it makes such a difference. I would say, just the, the small spotlights and and things like that. I spot I say spotlight. I mean hot spots, things like that. I think it makes a world of difference. Um, all right, have we gotten any action here yet? Yeah, we got the fish coming out matter of the uh, animals coming down now. Come on, buddy. Come on. Go for it, go for it, go for it, go for it. Yes. Yes. Stalk your prey. Do it. See, the thing is, like, I can't... I need to make sure I stay on top of the actual needs of the animals and stuff as well. I can't just uh, float around over here. I have to... It's it's franchise mode. That's uh, that's where the idea came for the um, sandbox. Um playthrough on uh, for, for the DLC coverage where we're able to just kind of goof off a little bit and experiment with some stuff. Come on now, get down here, get down here. That's pretty cool, it, it, he's completely underwater. Proper, proper deep sea diving. Get over here, buddy. Come on. Ah. Turning around. Is this fish rotten? What's that, like, greenish tint that's coming up with it? I don't like that. Or is that just, like, the bubbles and the air and stuff? It should be fine. I've never I've never seen them get dirty or anything. Oh, they're still hiding underwater. Go. Oh, there you go. All right. We'll keep an eye out. We'll keep an eye out. Um, all right, so we have our animal talk over here. Year one... We're in December of year 100. I thought it was worth pointing out. <laughs> Pretty momentous. It's pretty momentous. It's been we've been open for so long. Um, all right, so that's one animal talk done. Let's go ahead and see. It's like I don't want to miss. How am I ever gonna know that they're using the feeder? You know. All right, these guys. You guys need some help, and I need a name suggestion for uh, for station one hundred three over here. Go ahead and adjust your minimum with any load. Uh, let's go ahead and say minimum wait time. 20 seconds, maximum wait time is 30 seconds. I think that's fair. And don't block station. We'll be fine. I think once they get into, into motion, we shouldn't have to deal with that. Station 103. Uh, giraffe over here. Let's go ahead and get you to any load as well. 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Let's try that. And let's get a move on over here. We got these guys waiting as well, so it's like... Let him through, maybe? Oh, you know what? This is unpowered, right? No, it's not unpowered. It's not power over here. The solar panel is right there. So why are people not getting in here? Where's the, uh... Yeah, what's going on here? That was very weird. Um... What if we do set it to, uh... Don't block station. No error on route. I want to try just closing it and then reopening it. Come on. Okay. I'm going to try closing it. There we go. Reopening it. Okay. Hopefully that'll register the changes or whatever's gone wrong will hopefully not be wrong anymore. Oh man, this little spot of color really makes a world of difference. Oh, no. No, don't tell me. Don't tell me I missed it. Don't tell me I missed it, buddy. No, don't. Don't you dare. Look at how majestic they look properly underwater over here. Oh, man. 
Oh, look at that. What a... Oh, it's so cool. Honestly, one of the first things that blew my mind about this game. This is so cool. Oh, just like navigating these rocks and everything. Dude, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is awesome. This is... This is awesome. Oh, oh my god. Um, One of the first things that blew my mind about this game, though, was like that level of detail of like cuts and, and scars and whatnot. Uh, I think that's absolutely cool. I think that's absolutely cool. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. This is, this is, this is, this is exhilarating. This is so cool. I hope y'all agree because I am totally geeking out right now over, like, I, I, that's, that's awesome. That is such a feeling. Uh, I can't explain it. That's such a feeling. Uh, as is this. What are you doing? Just floating up over here. Come on now. We obey the law of physics. Well, the laws, all the laws of physics, not just the one. There we go. Actually, can we go all the way down here? Ah. Fortunately. There and there. Thank you very much. We try to obey the laws of physics, at least. Alright, what do we got going on over here? Animal is hungry over here. Why are these guys not being taken care of? You know what? I think it is time to add some more uh, keepers. It's 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 been it's been some time. Oh, looks like they're eating. Yep. Okay, I guess they were just they were just getting hungry and, and they're now able to come and eat. This is pretty great to see as well, actually. Just hanging out, grabbing a bite. Ah, go for some watermelon right now, man. Alright, that's good. Though so one of them is still upset. Why are you upset? Because you're hungry? Well then don't look at the mirror. There's food available nearby, buddy. There we go. There we go, yeah. Oh no, that wasn't him, that was this guy. This guy's just staring. Oh, that makes it kind of sad. I was wondering, I was like, hang on a second. That's not a, that's not a ringtail lemur. The guy's like, left out. Oh no, do we not have enough feeders? Oh what? We might not. I guess let's go ahead and pick up another one. Drop you down over here. We've got this as well. These guys are seeing some low welfare as well. I'm guessing it's because there's too many of them. Go ahead and... Look to all except for... Males getting kind of old over here, which is problematic, potentially. We'll have to sort that out, potentially. Now we've got protesters because you weren't able to eat. Starving. Oh, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Come on, now. Feed Feniri here. Maraguan Mansion. We've got... Uh, like, oh wow, it's like breeding has uh, definitely taken place over here. Uh, you and who is our breeding female? Do not have uh, someone picked out. Hello? We're going to the Trade Center. Take a look over here. Nice genetics are good. And. Sorry, 50. Okay, we're good. And then how about a Scoro here? Okay, good. You good, good. Oh, Abayomi's about to pass. Old age. Man. They've really done a brilliant job with the animals, haven't they? Very well, buddy. Oh. Unfortunate placement. Go ahead and call the vet over. Now, we need ourselves a new male um, lion here. I believe Jabulani should be good. Malawa actually might also be good. Let's compare mates over here. Uh, good, good. Kibibi would be inbreeding. Okay. Malami, recent birth. Bayo would be inbreeding. So Kabibi and Abeo, I mean, like, these are some really good stats. I would love to have a generation with those stats involved, is what I'm thinking. But Kabibi and Abeo, okay, would be inbreeding. So who else do we have over here? We could also get Jabalani in here. Compare mates over here. Inbreeding, inbreeding. It's like... The same situation, kind of. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and get... Malawa in here. Let's move you to Simba Kiburi and let's make sure we have a bail on contraceptives 
And who was the other one? Was it uh, Namono? I can't remember now. Yeah. Just wanted to double check. Get you on contraceptives as well. Cool. Good stuff, good stuff. Good stuff. Now, hang on a second. Is it animal talk time already? Looks like we've got a decent crowd forming up over here. May. Almost time for the animal talk. I definitely want to see how it goes down. I wonder if these benches should be moved back a little bit. That way there's some more room for people to hang out and watch the talk. I would love to see the animals respond uh, to the food and stuff that gets thrown in. That's uh, definitely a priority for me. Any, any luck down over here? No fish down here just quite yet. I will keep an eye out. I really want to catch a moment, you know? Make me so happy. How are we doing actually in terms of donations and stuff over here? Still doing alright, it's just May. Doing okay. Over here. Yeah, we're good. Did they update this image, by the way? I can't remember for the life of me, but I feel like this image has been updated now to reflect the fact that they um, can go underwater. Yeah, this is almost 100% definitely new. Almost 100% definitely. <laughs> there we go. Our talk has started. Oh man, look at that, look at that. That's, that's so, I'm so pleased. Look at the scenery and stuff. I'm so, look at the crowd, look at the scenery, look at the train. Ah, this is so... This is great. Oh, there's a little hunk of meat being thrown in. Come on, buddy, eat, eat, give him a show. Little baby up over here as well. That's really cool, though. That's really cool, though. And now May has come to a close, and our talk has come to a close as well. Yeah, man. One last roar to scare the kids. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Cool, okay. Now I wonder, are there like reviews? No options over here, but these guys had attended. I really enjoyed Animal Talk 1. I think Animal Talk 1 was very educational. Good stuff, good stuff. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna... This is a temporary name, but I think we can... I think we're... I think we might keep it. But this is... Croc Talk. Yeah! <laughs> Croc Talk at Croc Rock. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fantastic. Animal welfare is a problem here as well. Alright, let's go ahead and... I guess it was just like... We were reaching that tipping point for all these... Uh, all these critters, eh? Are you guys okay for fertility? You are not. Alright, so we're probably going to swap in some better giant burrowing roaches here. Nele and... And who? We need a male. Simmington. And you both in. With with gold ranks, it's, it's highly unlikely that they are not fertile. Great center with you. Back on Simmington. Yeah, thought so. What's the deal here? Has been in box for too long? Get out of that box. Let's go. Stuff, good stuff. Now, research hasn't been completed in a... Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was like, what's up with research? We haven't seen the research screen in, in, a, in a while. Oh my god, that's a lot of research done. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. The uh, gorilla is done being researched, so that means we can actually reassign. Um, let's go ahead and get uh, Michelle Weedman here working on the reticulated giraffe. We are expecting some offspring for both animals. Oh, a little bit of overcrowding over here. That's not ideal. Who do we have? Who do we have? Who do we have? Oh. Dumadi, I suppose. You're not supposed to be here. Let's get you... Decent stats. Let's release you to the wild, though. Yeah, let's let's release you to the wild. Good. That should be good. Atsi is about to have her offspring as well. Okay, good stuff. Erica is over here. Yeah, good stuff. Take another peek down over here. It's like, what is the likelihood of us catching one of the uh, rocks down here, honestly? I don't know, to be honest. Oh. 
Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Hatsi is about to have offspring, but probably not until he's on land. And let's go ahead and take a look at the situation over here. Actually, the capuchin monkeys are causing me some concern. Juan is infertile. We have one female. One female, two males is really not good enough. Really not good enough. We need at least a few more females. We need to have a sustainable population. That means the females, that there are enough females to sort of have a quote-unquote constant state of pregnancy in the uh, enclosure. Um, I forget what the ratio is for humans of like male to female for have populate for to 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 have population growth. Um, you know, ignoring aspects such as attraction and all that kind of stuff. Obviously, um, purely mathematical. Where is my Colombian? White-faced capuchin monkey. There we go. Get ourselves some more. Okay, Violet is the only option here. Oh, man, not the best. Not the best, but I'll take it. We need to... We need to contribute in some way, right? Gotta contribute in some way. Go ahead and get you in here. Okay, we'll add her, and then hopefully we'll have some more arriving soon as well. Like some more options available soon as well. Look at our trade history, by the way. Yeah, no one else got traded out last time, apart from the three that we uh, spent some time trading out. Oh, cool. Well, apart from the three that we already saw last time, I mean. Uh, night time. Oh, 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 Nombolt. No, 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 no. There we go. I want to get to these guys within the next couple of sessions as well. For sure. Like, I, I, I understand the uh, the feeling that they've been neglected, and I obviously don't like that. So I, I do want to come back over here and make sure we get these guys a nice proper uh, nice proper space. There's so many of them. There's so many of them, in fact. Hold on a second. I'm just running around having a wonderful time. Um, Lupedia. Tell me. One to seven. One male, six females. All right, listen. One male, six females is not happening over here right now. Malika is pregnant. Um, Akila is elderly, so I think I want to keep her around. San, I suppose we could put away. A lot of albinos. Put Hassan. The trade center or a release? Hmm. What do you got for me, buddy? He's okay. Get released into the wild. Release to the wild. Go for it. Animal welfare. The red-eyed tree frog. I was like, how many more uh, exhibits are, are left to, to have these issues with? Again, I, I still wish it would tell us, you know, gold versus bronze versus what over here. A female. We need a younger male. There we go. Wilson. Sorry. Uncheck Wilson and the Gabby here. Not enough room in the Trade Center. Starting to get more strict about that stuff, I see. Fair enough. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. It was only a matter of time. Just gets a little tedious is all. My only concern is it just gets a little tedious. Quite a few, quite a few high quality ones actually. We don't need this many. Not quick trade. There we go. Yeah, we don't need this many gold male titan beetles. Same thing with the roaches. We don't need that many. Hey, okay, quick trade you. Done. Make some more room in here. Probably will not empty this out a bit more soon, but there's a lot I want to accomplish today. There's a lot I want to try and catch as well. Alright, we're good. What's the deal here? Here's injury on Nomble. That's not good. When did that happen? Uh, maybe I missed a, a, a warning about fighting. Alright, let's go ahead and bring you down to our Ziwasi. Oh. Beautiful. Um, and what are we looking at over here? It's October of year 101. Where are my babies? Looks like we've got some movement over here as well, by the way, so that's good. 
up over here. Guests are waiting. Let's 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 wait to make sure they're able to get on before it turns out that uh, it's still not working properly. Okay, so it arrives. It stops here. The doors are gonna open. Maybe. What's going on here? Did it need to be repaired? Was it damaged? It's not like closed or anything. It's open. It's operating fine. But I mean, this guy definitely came through to get some work done over here. Attack calling as a disease risk. We'll check on that. Okay, I, I gotta I gotta check on this first. Like this thing's coming through. Are you gonna get on? Was that just a fluke that the mechanic happened to arrive? Alright, you're about to leave. Hey, koalas are about to mate. Please be a successful mating. Nice. Koala is expecting offspring. Finally, that took a long time, and this has happened at the same time. Good stuff. Everything's looking up. Everything is looking up. Fantastic. Now, what was I looking for over here? Uh Renako is hungry. You should go eat. Lani over here. Oh, look at that. Yes. They're so cool. May of year 103. Did I misread 102 previously? Oh, so cool. It's also really cool how the uh, game adapts to the terrain shift to allow them to do the splits and actually get their face into the water as well. That's quite neat. That is quite neat. Back down over here about, uh, on the topic of underwater. Oh, come on, buddy. Come on, man. You know what I need. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Look at the fish off in the distance. Go for it. Come on. <laughs> I mean, are guests coming here anymore? Uh, like any more than previously. Doesn't seem to be the case. Ah, uh, looks like it's surfacing. That's a cool view of its own, though. Thumbnail material. Man. This is- it, it really does open up a whole new, um... Level of depth, one might say. Alright, uh, do we want to get some more animal talks down? Might not be a bad idea. Actually, before I do that, though, before I do that, there's something I've been thinking about for a while. Uh, and that was, was based on suggestions. Oh, whoa. Oh, okay. Whoa. This looks completely different. Um, this looks completely different. Uh, what was the suggestion? It was to get rid of the hot dog squad, because we already have one across the, uh, across the way. So let's get rid of the hot dog squad. And in its place, let's put down a cosmic cow ice cream, because it's pretty... Oh, uh, the recommendation might have been for milkshakes, but I'm going to put down the cosmic cow ice creams. I can't remember. My apologies for that. Uh, I feel like the ice cream makes sense. And, and, and the, um... The, uh... Idea behind the suggestion was that there's a hot space. We already have a hot dog um, as food available at the other pavilion. So why not switch it up and also, you know, look out for the temperature needs. Uh, so let's go ahead and yeah, pop you in over there. Good stuff. That's that. And I also need to figure out a spot for a washroom. Hmm. What would be a good spot to put a washroom down? We could put one down, like, over here or something. We don't have one in this area. Oh, it looks like this is actually... Oh, fix that. Um, we could put one down over here, maybe. Whoa! That's so cool! Oh, that's so cool! Actually, so, being with the zebras reminds me really quickly, and I apologize for this tangent, but... Got into an interesting conversation in the comments based on something I said last session. Uh, which was, uh, now I forget which one I said specifically, uh, but uh, I believe what I said was, I in reference to black and white and colors, I believe I said that black is all colors and white is no colors. Um, and a couple of you in the comments did, uh, did point out that uh, it depends, and it does depend. Uh, color is, uh, I, I have to get this out of my system just to, to clarify, uh, what I was saying and because I find this stuff fascinating. Uh, color exists in two formats, additive and subtractive. Additive is when, uh, it is in the form of light that is, you know, headed directly for your eyes, typically, like, off of a screen or something, uh, and that uses the RGB color spectrum, red, green, blue, and when red, green, and blue are both at their maximum level, 
i.e. when it's all the colors, you get white. Whereas when they're all at their minimum, zero, 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 you get black. So when there's no color, it's black. When there's all colors, it's white. But that's only for additive lighting uh, or additive colors. The other type of color system is subtractive. And that happens when light is bouncing off of something and coming into your eyes. Uh, so it's, it's based on reflection. It's a reflective system. And when, in, when, when light is subtractive, typically found in like, you know, anything that has pigment. So for example, paint. Uh, when light is subtractive, it works the other way around. That uses a CMYK system. Uh, cyan, magenta, yellow, and then K, that's actually a printing term, key, black. Uh, so CMY, I guess, is, is what I should actually say there. But um, when it comes to printing or painting or anything else that, uh, that works based off of light reflecting off of the surface, uh, rather than being emitted from the surface, it uses the subtractive system. And that is when if you mix CMYK together, all together, you get black. So when all the colors are there, it's black. And when none of the colors are there, it's white. Think about painting, like painting on a canvas or, or whatever. Um, so RGB, all colors equals white. CMYK, all colors equals black. Um, so it it's both. <laughs> it's both. I do apologize for that tangent, but uh, but I, I genuinely I find it a fascinating conversation. Um, again, it's a part of my you know education and stuff and whatnot, and uh, it's just it's it's also just like physics, which I always find super cool. <laughs> so I apologize for the tangent, but we got into a conversation in the comments, and uh, I just had to I had to touch on it. I couldn't help myself. Couldn't help myself. Uh, also, it looks like this is the closest. Look at that lighting. Oh, you're such a boss. Oh my god, so cool. <laughs> that's so cool. Uh, but that looks like that's the closest we're, we're, we're going to get today with regards to maybe catching an underwater feeding happen. They are absolutely fantastic. Look at that. Just chilling up over here. You know what? It's been fun to come back to an animal that we put down so very long ago and to just kind of focus on it a little bit. And uh, again, got a little bit of work done. Maybe I, I might have liked to do more, uh, you know, animal talks and stuff around the zoo. But uh, there were there were a lot of little things that we had to get distracted by, I suppose. Uh, we had to take care of um, quite a few upset animals. Fortunately, we have lots of babies on the way for zebras, for giraffes, for more lions, evidently. We've got, uh, we have a new baby... Um, it's tape here over here. The question is, where else can we put animal talks down? But the question is, what is this frame rate? And should I be concerned? <laughs> I hope not. I hope not. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out where else do I want to put more animal talks down. Oh, I was saying I could put one down over here. I feel like this is a fun spot for sure. I also, it's been pointed out that I don't think people can sit on these benches. I thought, I could have sworn we saw people sit on them in the past, but it's been a while. So I'm going to go ahead and clear these out, fun as they were at the time. I'm going to clear these out. Do you have any more over here? No. Let's go ahead and get the uh, the talk down. I also need to put down some more ATMs. I keep forgetting. Uh, what are we talking about here? Facilities, animal, talk, point, down, over. Here, I think, does the trick. Here, let's do that. Let's hire, well, let's go ahead and first uh, sign this to a work zone. I wish, oh yeah, you can, nice. Research completed, good stuff, good stuff. Nothing fully completed, but a little bit of progress made. Work zones, this is South America. Obviously, it's going to zoom all the way out. I don't know why, but that's what it wants to do. So let it be. Uh, and we want to go ahead and get ourselves an educator down here as well. So exciting. So very exciting. Educator, down over here, please. Go ahead and assign you appropriately, first of all. Gotta fix that. Second of all, South America. Good stuff. And let's go ahead and set this to a summer, uh, April. Let's go with May. Just in time. Food throw path is blocked. That's okay. You don't have to have food throw. Um, it's a, it's, it's a separate, it's a, it's a, Potential extra, I suppose. Now, these guys, these educators can be late to their talks, actually. Uh, so, you know, let's let's set this not to May, but to June. 
So if you want to attend two talks, you can. Uh, I, I want to try and offset uh, talks like that. Uh, but anyway, um... It was in the box for too long. Unbox all animals here, please. I'm wondering, I gotta check that out, see what's going on down there. Uh, but ATMs, you know what, let me really quickly here. Really quickly here, scoop one of these ATMs up. And drop one down up over here somewhere, I think, is not a bad idea. Before the entrance here. Yeah, um, maybe drop one down over here as well somewhere. Maybe like... One over here as you get into this base here. Just needed a needed a bit, needed needed some of these. Otherwise, guests are p potentially coming here without any money to spend, and uh, that's not helping anybody. That's not helping anybody. Pop this down over here. I think is nicest. We still got to decorate the space, obviously. Folks, as I was saying, it's been fun coming back to an animal that uh, you know calls back to basically the beginning of this. Uh, of this uh, season two. It's been wild spending so much time back at the, oh my God, these, okay, we got a lot of, I, I gotta, you know what, next session, uh, or, or the session after that, one of these upcoming sessions is gonna be like a pure management session. I know I was saying beauty pass for the next session, but it might just have to be a pure management session. We've got, got too much going on right now, interrupting me constantly. But as I was saying, it's been fun coming back to take a look at the uh, the Crocs over here, spending some time with them, building this memorial, adding some more work to uh, the... Uh, oh, look at that. Yes, yeah, this is coming together. I'm, I'm very happy with today's session. I hope you all are as well. I do wish we could have caught a little bit of underwater feeding happening, but uh, such was not our luck. We did get to catch some of these Crocs swimming uh, deep in the water, though, so that was fun. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel what I do more or less of, how I go about doing it. Y'all know the drill by now. Of course, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers.